you guys can tell I removed the background audio because first of all, it's distracting. And again, dealing with a content creator, they're more worried about YouTube's algorithm to boost their video than to give proper information. So you can see right now, he's going to go through and do the accelerated assembly. A lot of these guys do that and we'll cover it as he finishes up. I, like many of you, find it super interesting that the HY user's manual is right there for a split second, yet following his mounting procedure into this enclosure reflects he never even read what I just showed you. Okay, so it's apparent we've already covered the VFD issues. Again, no double shielded spindle cable. Nothing is grounded. We already see that he's just worried about mounting the electronics as we see here. He thinks just by wiring everything in terms of just connecting point A to point B to a terminal block, everything is done. This is nothing new that we've seen in all my CNC fail videos. There's no ground bus. There's nothing really. There's no ferrites added in between the leads going from his actual uh, drives to any of his electronics. Guys, this once again is just content. It is not a correctly built controller. And you will hear that he is using closed loop drives. It is completely irrelevant of what kind of drives he's using. This is not built correctly, nor is it built safe in terms of it being built inside of a wood enclosure, which if you guys are in the US, and I'm sure it's the same in Europe, if you have any problems with fires, your insurance company will not cover you. I'm telling you right now, proceed with caution.